Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 4. We've hopped on over to Geek today. Our beautiful little disaster that we um, were working on last time. But yeah. Of course, as you know, I've I made just about the most ridiculous design for a city that could possibly be conceived by man. Um, and now, unlike last time, we're going to pay a little bit of attention to the consequences. So, let's take a look at some of our uh, things here. Let's take a look at traffic, first of all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah. As I expected, everyone is crammed everywhere, but I knew that was going to happen. Didn't expect that this avenue was going to be so busy, though. I mean, look at all that. Okay, how can this be none when it's saying there's like a bazillion people? Alright. Let's go over here to volume. So what's over capacity? For instance, this road. What's so special about this road and why is it so over capacity? Hmm. Take a look. If it will zoom out properly. Yes. Well, people are using this road to go everywhere. So let's look at the morning commute. I bet they're on the next road over. Yep, they're using that up a lot. But yeah, right here is a major uh, choke point, it seems. Hmm. How can we fix these and other pressing problems? Are they fixable? Are the problems plaguing our city to be fixed? Let's look at the desirability map right now. Have some funny shapes over here. Yes, it's pretty much a one big block of no no. I don't know. Maybe I've made a city that's impossible to fix. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, why aren't these developing? I wonder. This might be a good opportunity for. Well, first of all, how much money are we making? A lot, actually. Okay, well, first of all, we need to do something about the crime in this area, because I'm sure there's a lot. Alright. Yeah, no one wants to build in here for some reason. No idea why. But... We need some form of deluxe police station. Alright. For good measure, let's put a large fire station right next to it. Should take care of some of that. Now let's hop over to schools. Right here is kind of in the middle. Right here, we'll put our elementary school. And over here, we will put a regular high school. If we can fit it. Yes, we can. Very good. And hospital. Let's press health. Where can we put our hospital? We can blow up some of this commercial to put a hospital right there. 
and I'm sure nobody's going to mind or even notice. So that's a uh, it's a good thing for us. So let's take a look. Well, first we're going to turn on the speed a little bit to let things process and. Then we're going to take a look at some of the stats to make sure everyone in this area is being served. Speaking of which, wasn't there a British comedy called Are You Being Served a number of years ago? I vaguely remember watching it, and I also vaguely remember it being extremely funny. Yes. So, yeah, those, those British people have a way with humor that Americans can't can't seem to match somehow. I don't know what it is. Ah, who knows. But anyway, let's take a look. First, let's look at crime. Yeah, there's still crime, but whatever. Somebody was flashing at the airport. It's going to distract the planes from landing. Alright, let's look at our schools. I said, let's look at our schools. Alright, good. But everyone's at the elementary school again, just like they were in High Hannah. What did I what did I tell you? They're all over here. Alright, good. Let's go to health. Click on you. Wow. There we go. That's better. For that matter, let's check out the other guy too. Alright, anyway, if you're not going to develop for me unless I build roads across you, then very well. We will build some freaking roads. Was that really all it took? Oh look, we connected the one-way road to the regular street, but that's very cool. Down... And up. That really is all it took. I mean, our concept was a cool concept, but when you really think about it, it was really stupid, so it's probably, uh, probably better this way. In fact, I know it is. Because we've already got some development. Good stuff. And everyone is wanting to grow here. Although we need more water apparently. So let's go on out to our water pumps. And make a couple more. Why a couple more? Because I'm sure we'll need them. Alright. I want to show off something else right now. First, it involves us demolishing a bunch of stuff which we'll have to rebuild immediately. But, I want to put, yes, a avenue roundabout over here. Yes, it's something new that comes with the NOM. If uh, any of you have seen Dwyron's videos, it probably um, it probably uh, includes some of this. But yeah, look at that. Now we have to rebuild the power lines leading to this uh, these pumps, or else we're going to have some serious problems. All right, yes. Turn our speed back on. We're going to build a form of avenue up over the hill, or through it, if that one to give me that. Yeah. Right through it. As an alternate passageway for the noobs of the city. Hold on. So, Hi Hannah is joined over here. But is this also High Hannah? I don't know. Yep, that is also High Hannah. Let's look at how many people are using this road. A few. But not that many, because they have to trans transfer a pretty good distance. 
Hmm. Interesting. Are people still using these avenues? Or these one way streets in massive amounts? Yes, they are. Okay. Hmm. What are we going to do about that? All right, time to build a subway. Ooh, look at that plane go. But anyway, this street here is the busiest in the morning, and then the other two streets next to it are the most busy in the evening. So we're just going to demolish a series of buildings along this uh, road. And we are going to put in subway stations. All right, so scroll on down to our subway stations. <sighs> oh boy, sorry about yawning in the LP, but I should put a line every corner. I think that will be good. Something about the nom messes up this, I think, because it wasn't doing that before. But oh, it's so well. It's all right. You're not going to see me crying over it. You never know if the uh, new city will have a subway line, so we'll build, we'll build a connection just in case it's ever going to be um, joined. All right, pull it out to here, out to there, and finally out to the end. So. Hopefully that will help us. All right, it's time to turn back the time, or turn on the time, I should say. And, oh yeah, and these extra residential spots that are left behind when I put in the uh, train stations, it's probably a good idea to put something there. So let's put some, let's put some parks there. I think that's a good enough idea. Some delightful little park greens. Seems good. One there. And one there. Turn the time on fast. And, you know, give it a little bit of time to um, process all this. Oh, we need more power, apparently. Our city is still growing. Let's take a look. No one's using that one. No one's using that one. Really, are no is nobody using our subway stations? Wait a minute. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, that's better. I guess it still had to process it or whatever. Who knows? But anyway, let's take a look. Take a look at our volume. Wow, that one has more than capacity. So does that one. That one has just a few people using it. Just a few. Fair amount. Fair amount. Let's see. Pretty high amount. Another pretty high amount. A higher amount, a little less, and a little less still. So, at least it's being used. Now what we are going to do is 
take a look around and we are going to see what else we can do with the subway. First of all, got a lot of capacity here, but where's a lot of where's a lot of road traffic? Well, yeah, but you're a street. What would you expect? Okay. All right. So let's have. What has high volume? A lot of people are coming over here. Hmm. Let's see. What can we do about that, folks? Build a subway line out to there. Not really much going on here, but there will be in the future. So we'll put a subway station here, there, there. I said there. Oh wait, never mind. There's something here already. So there. Gotta make a joint up to that one eventually, so exit underground view. Blow up you and blow up you. To put more subway stations. It will be a new line for us. We'll just have a T intersection over here, why not? Okay. And zippity zip over here. Over to there, and finally over to here. For that matter, building any kind of system over here is going to be difficult, but possible. Because of how ziggity zaggity the roads are. Alright, well the first thing to do is look at traffic once again. Where is their heavy volume? Well, there's a lot of heavy volume going over towards here. Especially right in here, for whatever reason. So let's begin by putting our first subway station right here in this corner. And going from there. You there. You there. You there. Put another one of you over here. And one at the water's edge. Come over here. Blow you up, whatever you are. Blow that up to put a subway station there. Blow up this piece of grass. Alright. What else can we blow up? Alright, you will blow up. You. That's what will blow up. Put another train. Oh, no. As cool as that would be, we're not going to do that right now. Alright. Oh, damn it. I told you not doing that right now. So, we're going to build these rail lines out. Or subway lines, I should say. I'm always nervous about zigzagging these because um, I've always ever heard, oh, zigzagging, it's the death of any person or whatever. So that's why I don't do that too much. Can I get this to go under the, under the world? This is going to be difficult. Uh, yeah. 
This might take a little bit of work. Okay, well after investigating the pipe system, I found out the pipes went across the river over here. So if we're going to have a subway line, it's going to have to go over the river in the same general area. I mean, that kind of messes up my plan, but oh well. Let's see. Put a subway line here. And put one over here. We'll find a way to connect it up to the one that we already built. Like thusly. I just can't believe I can't get this to build over any other spot. Uh, yeah, it's annoying. Really, really annoying. But you gotta take what you can get sometimes. Alright, I already can see from here where I might want to put some more stations, so let's just take care of this real quick. There we go. Didn't I put a station right here? Yeah, there we go, that's better. Yes, I originally did want this to go over and across, but, well, that's not happening, as you can tell. So we're just going to have to connect it up this way, and if, and if anyone has to commute over the river, they'll just have to be patient because they're in for a really, really long ride. Forgot to put a turnaround spot over here. We'll make a little spur for this station. So people who don't need to use it can just continue on. They can schedule some routes to go that way and some routes to not. Right here, we can continue that like that. One out here, one over here, one over there, one down here, one down there. Alright, I think we got something good going with this subway. Hopefully this will not take up massive amounts of money, but it likely will anyway. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's have a little zigzag. Reminds me of um, one of the villains from Thief and the Cobbler was called Zigzag. Uh. You know what? That's fine. Fast forward so I can process it like before. Blah de dee, blah de dee, blah. And we'll see how people are using our epic subway system after we look at our cash, which is still good. So, all right, let's take a look at our traffic situation. Well, let's see. Well, oh, shut up. Okay. Um, well, it looks like our busiest stretch of subway is still in this area, but getting a fair bit of use. Let's check the track at random points. If we can. All right, wow. There are 6,000 people passing through this subway station. But yeah, not as many as are passing through here. 
Because, yeah, there's 1,400 people passing through that subway station every day. But over here, it goes down to 7,000. By this station, it's down to 4,000. And over here, it's about 4,000 again, so it's about how many people are crossing here. After this, it drops off considerably. This is kind of like the, the corner here. But over here at this station, it picks up again to 5,000. And over here, over here, we are up to 6,000 again. So, and even this last subway has 1,400 people. The last one way up here has 900 people. So, with the ex possible exception of this Actually, no, it has 500 people. So really, no no arm of our subway line is a true waste. It's all... It all works, but... I really don't like that I can't have anything... <sighs> Not another fire. Really sucks that I can't have anything going on, you know... Over the river there. Because that would have been nice. Oh, well, I guess people are just going to have to live and uh, commute within the areas they uh the respective side of the rivers they live on unless they live somewhere close to the place where the subway actually does go under all right now the test is to see how it has changed the traffic the car traffic huh you know what? It's with insane levels now. According to this map. Yeah, look, the congestion is, like, practically gone. In our whole city. I am freaking amazed. Now it's only, like, uh, the subway station that has too many people on it. And over here, this subway station has way too many people on it. But there's very little I can do about that. So we basically solved the traffic situation. Now, if we take a look at some of the jobs and pop for in, for fun. Yeah, almost no one but poor people live in our city, unfortunately. But that's okay. This is a very working class city. Makes Hyhanna look good. Maybe that's the real reason I built this city. Who knows?